Now I'm going to talk about how you can close a seam um, with a stitch or how you can finish a hem if you have a hem on a pair of pants. I always start with double thread. So get enough thread that when you double it, you can tie a knot at the end. And again, do a circle and put the end through the circle. And then tighten your knot this way. You could do that one or two times. It's hard to line up a knot in the same spot. Um, so I will show you how to do a lock stitch when you begin. So I'm gonna show, um, this would be a hem on a pair of pants that maybe you don't want it to show on the outside. You can also use this stitch for attaching lining to your garment on the inside near the zipper. So I like to start in the fold of the flap or the lining so that way you can catch your knot right there and tighten it out tighten it down now this is not going to come out but it's not attached to the outside yet so what you want to do is run your needle through the channel just a little bit right at the crease Pull it out here. Now use your needle just to catch a few threads of the outside fabric. Okay, do you see that? The other side you will only see just a tiny bit of the needle. And then pull through. Okay, now that thread will be coming from the crease down through the fabric. And you're going to want to go back into the crease right next to where you came out before. Maybe just a little further. Depending on your hem, you may, you may be able to go just a half an inch, a quarter inch, depending on the fabric. This is pretty sturdy fabric, so I would go pretty far. I'd go maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch apart. So maybe it's a pair of pants that you've hemmed up and you don't, you don't want the stitching to show from the outside very much. This would be a good stitch to use. So again, I came out of the crease. I'm gonna go down and up and catch just a few threads of the outer fabric and pull. Okay, and then down, down through the crease and across. So you can go a little further. Okay, and then so now from the outside, you're only going to see little dots. Now if you're using purple to match the fabric, obviously you're not gonna really see that. I'm using a contrasting thread so you can see what I'm doing. Now I get a lot of questions about what happens if I start getting uh, running out of thread but I'm not done with my hem. So here's a trick that you can do. Go ahead and do your last stitch where you grab the fabric on the outside and before you tighten it, go ahead and go through your fabric right here, or through your threads to make a knot. Go ahead and let that knot right there, okay? Now, because I don't want the stitch to show on the outside, I'm gonna go ahead and grab just this fabric of the flap and do that one more time. So before I tighten it all the way, I'm gonna try to get through these loops. There we go, right there. And tighten it. Okay, go through one more time. Now I have two knots and I'm releasing the, the thread right here. Okay. So then I've got my new thread and I'm ready to start again. I don't want to start right where I left off because otherwise we're going to have too many stitches in one spot and that defeats the purpose of it being a blind hem. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go about an inch, only grab the flap. Go through my thread before I tighten it. Okay, now grab the fabric from the outside 
and then go down into the crease and go the inch or so. And then I can continue on my way. So from the other side, it stays consistent with the stitches. So I've got four stitches there. <laughs> 